Hello, everyone. My name is Heather Seller, and I'm the Business Development Manager for the Payers Market for Clear Arch Health. I would like to welcome you to today's presentation, Using Technology to Address Real-Time SDOH and Chronic Care Needs. Our speakers today will be Chris Otto and Dr. S. Nash. Chris is the Senior Vice President of Clear Arch Health and has over 20 years experience in both technology management and new business development with a career focus on remote health monitoring. Our other presenter is Dr. S. Nash. S. is a physician and healthcare physician executive with 30 years of leadership and management experience in health plans, provider organizations, and health services. Her most recent position was with Deloitte Consulting, LLP, where she served as Specialist Executive Healthcare Strategy and Operations. In today's presentation, we'll talk about social determinants of health, why health plans should be concerned about them, we'll touch on how to overcome challenges with member engagement and communication, provide you with background on Clear Arch Health and the development of our strategic turnkey solutions, introduce you to the Clear Advantage program that addresses SDOH needs and streamlines member communication. And finally, the benefits of implementing the Clear Advantage program and partnership opportunities available. If you have questions during the session, kindly use the chat feature and we will provide a response to you. I will now hand the presentation over to S to get us started. Thank you. Thank you so much, Heather. As all of us who work in health plans and healthcare organizations know, there is an increasing focus on how social determinants of health or social determinants of adverse health affect healthcare outcomes and utilization of healthcare services. Almost everyone here is aware that even before our current COVID period, it was increasingly obvious that a large percentage of our membership especially in Medicare Advantage plans, had trouble getting adequate food, safe living situations, had transportation barriers to getting health care or their medications, or suffered from social isolation. And it wasn't just that they had these unmet social needs, it's that these unmet social needs are associated with increased health care utilization, much higher likelihood to utilize the emergency room, and to have adverse outcomes of chronic diseases. So that's okay, it's good that we know about this. Next slide, please. But what are we gonna do about it? Well, we can't work on this issue until we can identify which of our members have these adverse social determinants of health. We not only have to identify them, but we have to do something to help them and measure the results. Well, what are we doing now? Almost every health plan I've worked with, and I've worked with many over my career, is trying to do something, but our current methods of identifying which of our members have social determinant of health needs are slow and costly and inaccurate. We rely on gathering health assessment data, which as we all know, takes a while and is never complete. Many health plans utilize predictive models. They put data into models designed to predict who has a particular health risk or social determinant of health need. Some of the models are very basic. Some are quite fancy, utilizing consumer attributes, zip code data, and all kinds of claims and utilization data points. Sometimes health plans even send people, highly trained people into the home to do home assessments or rely, or rely on internal referrals. But what we can say in common is that the claims lag plus the lack of complete data plus the poor predictive value of most predictive models, they just mean that we can't figure out who has these needs fast enough. Next slide, please. And even if we had a great predictive model that used all the data that we could get, if we put all of those that population that we feel as a been identified as having a social determinant of health need. Think of this as the engagement funnel. If we put 100% of those people we think have that issue in at the top, well then it narrows down because some of those people 
we can't even reach them. We don't have a phone number for them. Or if we have a phone number, it's not a valid phone number. And then if we do have a valid phone number, we may try to reach them multiple times and it not be successful. So the funnel narrows even more. And then if we actually get them to pick up the phone, the number of those people that are the true positives, in other words, what are predictive models, what are attempts to identify, actually are the people with that problem, with that social determinant need, that narrows down even further. So when you finally get to the bottom of this funnel and you've reached people, you've gotten them to say yes to the support that you're offering them, best in class attempts, best in class solutions, give us five to 15% of that 100% we started with. Next slide, please. So if we're not that good at figuring out who has a social determinant of health need, and we're not good at getting them to accept help when we offer it in an outbound way, what about capitalizing on all those inbound member services calls, all the times that members call into the health plan asking about something or requesting some kind of help. Well, unfortunately, the typical health plan member services operational unit, they are not trained or are they rewarded. They're not trained to listen for social determinant of health cues. That's not their area of expertise. They are measured on speed, such as average speed of answer or the abandonment rate of calls, they're dealing with a wide range of issues from find me a doctor to my claim didn't pay right. They're not the people that can listen to a story and hear when someone has a barrier to health and it just doesn't work. Next slide, please. In fact, for those inbound services units who analyze the types of calls they get, unfortunately, the most common category of call is the misdirected call. So these inbound calls suffer from a lot of misdirected calls, people calling the wrong phone number, people not calling when they should be calling. And once they do connect, it's not easy for a member to admit to or explain that they just can't afford transportation or they didn't get their medication because they didn't know how to get a refill or couldn't afford to get a refill. What's the result of all of this? Multiple handoffs, delays, inefficiency, and missed opportunities. Next slide, please. So while this has been going on, a wonderful thing has happened in that CMS has expanded the coverage for supplemental benefits, that is, things that are not directly linked to the diagnosis and treatment of disease for members in Medicare Advantage plans. And each year the benefit expansion has increased. So there are available benefits to address these social determinants of health, but having the benefits as we've just seen is only one part of the problem. We're here to show you how technology can help identify gaps in care much faster and address these social determinants of health. Because in order for your health plan to succeed in addressing social determinants of health, we have to fire on all cylinders. We have to be able to quickly and simply identify the right people, deliver the help that they need, and then measure and evaluate the results. Next slide, please. I'm gonna turn it over to Chris now, who's gonna help describe an innovative solution with reliable technology that can help address these pain points in the industry. Thank you, S. I'd like to take a moment first and talk a little bit about the company for those of you that are not familiar with ClearArch Health. ClearArch Health is the healthcare business unit for industry leading PERS company, Mobile Help. The Mobile Help brand family consists of the Mobile Help brand, One Call Alert, and ClearArch Health, which is the organization sponsoring today's session. While the mobile help and one call alert brands are primarily focused on direct consumer initiatives, Clear Arch Health is working with health plans and provider groups to provide medical alarms and remote patient monitoring solutions for patient populations. The company was founded in 2006 with a very simple value proposition to innovate the classic medical alarm 
and extend that capability outside of the home. And we'll talk about that in just a moment. The company has been very successful, is healthy, and has grown to serving today over 300,000 active subscribers in over 50 states. On any given day, a mobile help system is helping a senior receive the help that they need, the, the help that they need every 4.7 minutes. The company is unique, and I think you'll see in a little bit that we're we're not just a purse company, but also a technology company, and we have an extensive pat an extensive patent portfolio, as well as as well as a number of industry recognitions. Uh, probably the one I'm most proud of is the Frost and Sullivan Price Leadership Award, which we've received twice, which recognizes companies for best value for a given price point. The company is also an FDA registered device manufacturer. Uh, which is not required. It's something we've self-elected to do as a testament to our commitment to quality. And it means that we are subject to outside audit and stringent quality guidelines. So not every FDA, not every medical alarm company is also FDA registered. So as we talk about our solution today, I think you will, you will agree that it's very different than a classic medical alarm or personal emergency response system but I'll talk about it in that context for two important reasons. Number one is that PERS or personal emergency response systems are an existing and have been an existing eligible benefit for Medicare, an existing supplemental benefit for Medicare Advantage plans. And second, because the, the product category is a very mature product category and most people understand what a medical arm is and it's well adopted by the community. The, the PERS industry began in the 70s with landline based systems that went inside a, a subscriber's home. So these were uh, a monitoring panel that connected to a physical landline in the, in, in the member's home. But it had a couple, uh, couple disadvantages. Number one is that the phone jack in the home was never centrally located. So I've actually been inside homes and witnessed a device that's designed for someone that has a risk of falling and string. And, and I've seen a a phone cord strung across a walkway, which poses a trip hazard. The other, the other disadvantage is that those of you that either still have a landline or can remember, a uh, landline only works if all extensions in the house are on hook. So if you're not able to get that dial tone, the system won't work and it won't be able to signal for help. In 2009, Mobile Help innovated the space by providing the industry's first mobile per system. This combined cellular connectivity and GPS location information to extend the benefits of a medical alarm outside of the member's home to anywhere so that no matter where that individual was at the time of an emergency, we could get help quickly. The company has gone on to lead the industry in a number of other industry firsts and in innovation, uh, providing a cellular base station, which provides an in-home unit that no longer requires the landline and eliminates some of the, the challenges I mentioned in the landline-based systems. Automatic fall detection, because in four out of five falls, a senior is unable to press that button and to signal for help on them by themselves. We've also provided uh, smartphones and a smartphone apps, medical alarms um, on a smartphone and a variety of other smartphone, uh, sorry, smart speaker uh, applications. So the, the platform's integrated with Amazon Echo and a few other uh, platforms. And then again, in, in 2018, the company disrupted the industry again, providing the industry's first tablet-based personal emergency response system that combines that with remote patient monitoring. This platform is subject to the same FDA guidelines as a self-registered FDA device, uh, registered device manufacturer, providing the same life safety application for PERS, but it also combines it with remote patient monitoring and completely transforms the user experience because it includes a touch screen that's very interactive. So we can do some things that have never been thought of uh, with a legacy medical alarm system, such as delivering instructional educational videos, patient education for chronic conditions, and, and health surveys and structured assessment tools. This platform forms the basis for our Clear Advantage program that we'll be talking about today. And I think you'll agree that it's very different than a classic medical alarm. At the foundation, it is a PERS system though, and it does provide that safety net, that literal, literal safety net for any member that has a fall and if they're living alone and they need access to emergency services, we can signal help quickly by pressing a button either on screen or with one of the connected devices. And we can get help very quickly. But the system 
expands the scope of what that means and expands that concept to talk about um, social determinants of health. And I think you'll, you'll see that, that the system is, is capable of providing a safety net for other gaps in care that we know are, that we now understand and, and, and understand are, are uh, critical to providing the health and wellness for that member living independently. And if I could jump in right here to, to amplify what Chris is saying, um, as clinicians know work in health plans, uh, by the time someone has gotten to the point where they might fall or have a critical emergency need, that's way downstream from where we would like to be helping them. So we're, Chris is going to describe how we've been able to take this technology and move that identification and that ability to intervene and help that member way upstream, way before they get that sick, way before they need the emergency room or before their chronic condition has advanced that point. So that's a really key point. Thank you, S. And I should also point out here that in addition to the on-screen help button, there are a variety of wearable devices, classic lanyards, the automatic fall detect pendant, wrist-worn devices, and other devices in the home that can be used to signal for help as well. Behind the technology is our state-of-the-art central monitoring station. This is a UL-listed uh, US-based uh, monitoring station that includes multiple geographically redundant facilities. Each of these facilities has generator back power that they can run without power from the grid for up to 30 days. And because we are physically redundant, we have a location in, in California as well as New York and any, any singly occurring catastrophe that takes out one facility, we can pick up literally without a uh, without a, a moment's hiccup and, and uh, continue uh, triage and emergency calls. Uh, every operator that is in the central station undergoes an intense six-week training program that is certified by the SIA and combined with language translation services can support over 200 languages. Okay, so what we've seen here is we have a world where social determinants of health are quite prevalent. We have CMS expanding benefits for so supplemental benefits that can address these. But as we've described, health plans have trouble identifying the right members and reaching them, getting them to accept an outbound solution. So here we can have the opportunity to leverage proven technology right in front of the member so that they can self-identify in real time when they have a healthcare need directly to the health plan in a way that you define that works well with your programs and services. We could show that to you, next slide. Clear Advantage tablet literally puts support at the member's fingertips. I want you to all picture the, your kitchen table or your senior member's kitchen table with an easel tablet set up right there. Maybe it's next to the pill bottles. Maybe it's next to the salt and pepper shaker, but it's there every day and it is incredibly easy to use. And this tablet has particular tiles that signal for help, request help, not only for emergency medical situations, but also for social determinants of health, transportation needs, medication needs, food and, and physical safety needs. And if your health plan desires can also integrate remote patient monitoring with linked biometric devices for chronic conditions, such as heart failure, asthma, diabetes. And if your health plan desires, can have two-way interactive video visits with your care managers or with healthcare providers. So all of that is right in front of the member in an easy to use touch screen. And by the way, the tablet talks to you. So it reinforces what you're doing in, in a very clear way. We can move on. Now, if for more years than I care to admit, although Heather talks, mentioned it in, the, in my introduction, I've been working with health plans, uh, working inside health plans, designing population health programs and wellness programs, and also on behalf of other organizations. 
what I know is that one, you've seen one health plan, you've seen one health plan. Every health plan is trying to, to address healthcare needs through population health programs, but everyone has different processes. You may have internal centralized call centers. You may have third party vendors that work with chronic conditions. You may have a 24 seven nurse line, insourced or outsourced. You may have pharmacy vendors. Whatever your processes are, this Clear Advantage solution can help this tablet direct the patient to, to that destination. Whether it comes through a central station, whether it comes through Clear Arch as a first stop, or whether it goes directly to a particular uh, vendor or department within your health plan. So remember how we talked about the slowness and the inefficiency of both outbound and inbound identification. This leapfrogs over that so that the member themselves is telling you when they have an issue right then and there. And as someone who's worked with health plans, to me, that is like finding the nugget of gold when you're panning through mountains and mountains of pebbles because you know that that member needs help and they need it now. And that's the best, best source of identification. Next slide, please. So this tablet platform is really ideal for member engagement. Uh, many of us have worked for years to crack the nut of engagement. We could have the best intervention that we know works, but if nobody is going to use it, what good is it? But what we have here is a tablet, as I said before, it sits there all the time. It's easy to use with a touch screen. It can be white labeled uh, by, with the name of your health plan or a name of a particular program. For certain subpopulations that you identify, the tiles can be customized and how they're routed can be customized. Voice guidance can be provided bi-directionally. There are actual videos and educational uh, pieces loaded onto the system, onto the program, or we can take yours that teach people how to use the tablet and get them practiced with it. They don't need to have a landline. It works on a cellular system. They don't even have to have their own cell phone um, contract. So it's cellular, but the cellular connectivity is provided through ClearArch. Next slide. So you may have nurse, you may have people that you call care managers or case managers or nurse navigators or facilitators. We can get your members directly in touch with these people or the, nurse, the care management programs that you have can be augmented by contacting the members through the tablet. Uh, I have been privileged to work with incredibly compassionate talented nurse care managers who can really establish rapport through telephonic means. But if you add on to that a video visit, a care manager to a member, you are now just in an exponential way increasing that ability to engage the member and form that relationship. Not only that, but it's the fact that the member can get in touch with someone immediately. So no searching for that refrigerator magnet that you may have sent out or that phone number that came on a brochure that, that went in the trash by accident. Press the button and you are connected. Next slide. The feature display is a constant reminder of the different kinds of support that you may be offering. And as you update them and as you expand the social determinants programs that you have, these can be revised or adapted. But the key thing is that it's right in front of the member at all times and that they are reminded that they can get this kind of help. Back to you, Chris. Thank you, S. And as you described, the capabilities that are literally at the member's fingertips for inbound member initiated uh, access to resources, we can also deliver outbound uh, surveys, but, but in a much more efficient way than would be uh, through phone calls. So the tablet has the capability to deliver health surveys and structured assessment tools that can be delivered directly to members. Um, 
in this case, in this example, uh, you can see that the tablet not only displays the text on the screen, but also reads it out loud to the member. In the past seven days, have you had difficulty filling your prescriptions for any reason? These questions can be configured to literally endless configurations and include smart logic, which emulates artificial intelligence so that they're conversational in nature. And each question is dependent on the response to the previous question. Any, any of the responses to these questions can be configured for alerts, for real-time notifications, or be included in monthly reporting. So we're using these for a broad variety of applications today, including identifying uh, gaps and in, in social determinants of health, uh, identifying changes and symptoms for chronic conditions, and also even uncovering timely changes and diagnoses that could impact risk scores. So I jumping in here, just imagine the power of combining these tools. If you have a model in your health plan that thinks that a certain type of member has a transportation barrier, or there has been something happen like a pan, like a COVID pandemic that has really limited people's abilities to get uh, certain preventive care as well as care for their chronic conditions. You can directly pull those people and find out if they have experienced that barrier and then work to help with them address it right then and there. Absolutely. Also imagine, you know, skipping over that claims lag. If you could deploy a question that asked a member have you recently been diagnosed with fill in the blank heart failure? And they answer yes. You find out about that way before that claim ever makes it into your database. Absolutely. And I should mention that everything that you see here, the, the, the surveys are all cloud-based configuration, which means that we can update these questions, update these surveys at any time, even literally after uh, thousands of kits have been deployed uh, to a patient population. And in fact, we did exactly that when the pandemic began in, in March, we very quickly, uh, literally overnight deployed uh, COVID survey questions, which were designed to uncover symptoms uh, for patients that were on program that uh, uh, were indicative of potentially um, COVID-19 symptoms and, and could prioritize clinical resources and testing for those members. The next feature that I will describe is our education feature, which is a very simple but very powerful feature. And I like to think of this in three parts. Um, first is we maintain an education library. Clear Arch Health has a, an extensive library of user instructional videos and disease specific educational content that we license from HealthWise. Uh, HealthWise and, uh, constantly is peer reviewing these articles and making sure that they're up to date and relevant. When anytime that we start a new program and onboard a new health plan or a new, uh, new client, we identify the patient populations and what the goals are for that program, and then specify specific educational curriculums for each of those populations. And in many cases, we can layer in existing educational content from the health plan. And the net result is that the member engagement process is very streamlined and it's very uh, customized for that member so that they're receiving education content that is relevant and appropriate for their disease condition and it helps them to use the tablet and stay engaged on the platform. And again, this is cloud-based so we can literally update this at any time. Uh, we can make changes to the educational curriculums at any time, even for kids that are deployed in the field. So here's what you see, here's what the patient would see or the member would see as they are engaging with the tablet. And I'm actually going to show you an example of one of these videos now. Welcome to the instructional video for the Indy Health Blood Pressure Monitor. Lay your left arm flat and relaxed on the table with your palm up, elevated to heart level. Place the cuff on your upper arm above the elbow. Fasten the cuff tight, but loose enough so you can slide one finger under it. Make sure your legs are not crossed and that your feet are flat on the floor. Press the start stop button. Sit quietly as the cuff inflates. Do not remove until the reading has been completed. It will deflate once done. You will hear the reading from the base station. Blood pressure 123 over 80. 
one. Remove the cuff. For detailed operating instructions, please refer to the applicable device user guide. Okay, excellent. By the way, this video that you just watched is, is a blood pressure instructional video that was the product of a survey that we conducted with a patient population using the tablet for remote patient monitoring. What we discovered is that based on our surveys and feedback from actual patients in the program, 74% 70, of the patients reported that they were having difficulty using the blood pressure monitor. By deploying this updated educational video that showed how to use the how to use the blood pressure monitor, we reduced that, we reduced that from 74% to less than 10% of the patients that were having trouble with the device. So uh, it's been really helpful and we're constantly improving the program as a result of this. The tablet also acts as a digital photo gallery when it's not in use. So as S mentioned, it's sitting on your coffee table. Uh, when, you're not, when you're not actively using it, it can show pictures of family members and uh, loved ones. It's a very simple feature, but it's a testament of our commitment to member engagement and is a, is a really nice uh, positive feedback that we get, or is a really nice feature that we get a lot of positive feedback from all the time. Hey, actually, Chris, I said it was on the kitchen table, not the coffee table, but that's okay because I think the, the fun thing about this feature, and you know, it is all about engagement, uh, is that the family can send new pictures to the device and that keeps the eyes on the device, right? So the senior member is gonna look at that device to see if a new picture came in. And when they look at the device for the new picture, it's another opportunity for them to be reminded about the uh, health plan support program. Absolutely. Next feature is uh, the telemedicine capability that's built into the tablet. And we support three use cases that are pretty straightforward. Number one is we provide access to an existing telemedicine benefit. If the health plan supports a telemedicine benefit, we can expose that through the tablet. It, uh, it's an extra access node to the benefit for members. We also provide two-way video visits for case managers. If there's ever a need for a case manager to, to get on the phone and talk to a patient, talk to a member, we can do that directly through the tablet. Then also, especially in today's environment, we're seeing fewer and fewer patients willing to go into a clinic and have a traditional in-person visit. Providing this capability in the tablet makes it possible for providers to have virtual visits uh, with their patients and, and keep them out of the clinic. By the way, this is a secure platform and it's HIPAA compliant, so it meets all the requirements for any telemedicine platform. The Clear Advantage tablet is also widely deployed for remote patient monitoring. We're using the tablet today to serve a variety of chronic conditions, including congestive heart failure, pulmonary disease, hypertension, and diabetes. We do that by delivering connected health kits that ship straight to the member's home or straight to the patient's home. And we combine the tablet with any of the self-test medical devices that you see here. The kits are very easy to use. Uh, all the devices in the kit are Bluetooth enabled, so there are no wires connecting the devices to the tablet. And they're natural to use. So for example, when a member takes their weight, they step on the scale just like they would any other ordinary bathroom scale. And after that reading is taken, it will transmit the reading to the tablet so that it can read the reading out loud to the member. They can hear that and they can also see it on the screen like you see here in a recent trend line that keeps that member engaged and how they're trending from day to day. The, all of this data goes to a clinical dashboard that can then leverage a uh, nurse triage contact service center that can actually monitor that data, uh, respond to changes in alerts or changes in parameters that are outside of normal operating range and give an opportunity for early intervention for specific disease states before they become serious concerns. This is a very important feature and it's widely deployed. As I mentioned, we are constantly surveying our populations to improve the product uh, understanding how we can make it better. I'm very proud to report that the product is, uh, you know, easy to read, easy to easy to hear. Over 80% of our users are reporting very positive, high feedback. 91% of the users found the touchscreen very easy to use. And as, as I mentioned earlier, by deploying the blood pressure monitor 
uh, educational video, we were able to increase our, um, um, our, our user um, or reduce the difficulty level to, uh, un to roughly 8% for all users using the blood pressure monitor. The tablet does many other features, which uh, we won't have time to get into all those today, but gamification and badges, earning rewards to help keeping those members engaged and, and adhering to their care plan is important. And we can build out this um, care plan and, and the reward and badge uh, in conjunction with, with any new program that we onboard. So one thing that we do really well, and I'll take just a moment to, uh, to brag on the company a little bit here, is, is we provide um, best in class logistics capabilities, uh, support capabilities. And this allows us to deliver the equipment and the kits straight to the members in their own homes. We manage all the support. If there's any issues with setting up the equipment, we can help and support that over the phone. We can also provide customized uh, welcome letters and, and welcome kits that go straight to the to the member, including video tutorials. So we, do, uh, we do all this so that the health plans don't have to worry about that. We support the technology all the way to the member, make sure that it's up and running, and, uh, and, and, and we do that in a very streamlined way. So as you're listening to this, health plans may be wondering, well, if we wanted to do this, what is included in the Clear Advantage program? You may have senior populations in a Medicare Advantage plan. You may have value-based care relationships with other populations that you know that there are members that could benefit from this. Well, the Clear Advantage program right out of the box includes all of the devices that you heard Chris describe. Uh, eligible identified individuals will receive those devices directly to their home with a welcome kit. Every participant will receive training and onboarding as to how to use the equipment. As I said, it is it is incredibly easy. It's plug it in and uh, just watch a little video. If you need additional instructions, you can you will get those from the program. What's also included is unlimited inbound calls for emergent and non-emergent needs. So what we mean by that is it is a combined personal emergency response system and in a way to identify non-emergent social determinants, barriers, and other healthcare needs in a way that aligns with your healthcare programs and processes. But those calls can, emergency calls come in to a clear arch call center that you saw a photo of. There is no limit to them. Every request will be handled 24 seven, 365 days a year. And any members that for some reason have not utilized the tablet, well, we have uh, reminders and surveys and questions to find out why. So we are encouraging them to utilize the tablet. We don't want it to be uh, something that sits on the table and becomes just part of their background furniture. Uh, we really want it to be used and we have programs to make sure that happens. There's also extensive reporting. When you deploy a program like this, we will report back to you how many people are asking for which kind of help, uh, where did the calls go, how quickly were they responded to. If you've decided to integrate remote patient monitoring, there's extensive chronic condition reporting as well. And uh, another thing that I thought it was important to add here, because the PERS is part of the personal emergency response is part of Clear Advantage, in addition to all the other uh, features that you saw. There is notification back to the health plan of anyone who did receive emergency transport to an ER within 24 hours. Now, having worked in many health plans over the years, I know this is a pain point because uh, patients may be transported to out-of-network facilities if they get admitted, there's no contractual obligation that the health plan even be told. But if they're seen in the emergency room and discharged, there may be no way for the integrated delivery system, managing that member or the health plan to even know about it. But this is another uh, way to make sure you know when your members are seen in the ER. 
Clear Arch Health is ready to go to partner with health plans to implement the Clear Advantage program. Ideal participants in your health plan. And when I go through these bullet points, you're gonna to say to yourself, well, that's everybody. <laughs> well, ideal member participants in a Medicare Advantage plan or a commercial plan would be your high cost members who could benefit from care coordination or members with a chronic condition or more than one chronic condition. And here's where I say that this is mostly everybody. If you just look at the incidence, excuse me, the prevalence of hypertension in our society, you would know that right away we're talking about two thirds of Americans that have either diagnosed or undiagnosed hypertension. So we're, we're talking about a big proportion. Any members who are living alone who are home alone for the majority of the day um, or at increased risk of adverse health outcomes such as hospitalization or just progression of their chronic conditions. We can service anyone in all uh, 50 states. And I will mention here that we're also especially looking to partner with organizations who would like to pilot a program like this and measure in a sort of a research uh, fashion the results, either for six, nine, or 12 months, perhaps deploying the program in a certain population and matching it with a, a population that does not have access to these uh, additional services and then comparing the results. We'd be happy to talk to you about uh, either rolling it out for all, everyone or on a pilot basis. Absolutely. Well, this is our last slide before we wrap up and I'll just summarize. I hope, I hope you've, hope you've uh, seen and I and, uh, hope you agree that the Tablet-based solution is a simple solution that combines the safety and benefits of PERS with enhanced engagement tools that can help enhance your existing social determinants of health programs um, by capturing member assistance requests and intervention data, um, as well as delivering outbound assessment tools that we can pull that from the member as well. Um, by providing enhanced engagement to the member in their, in, in their home, we hope that it can grow and help retain membership longer. And finally, uh, hopefully all of these can be done in a more efficient ma manner and provide members access to the services and the resources available to them in a much more efficient manner than what they're doing today. So thank you so much for your time and attention today. Thank you so much, Chris and S. And thank you to our attendees for joining us today. If anyone has further questions or is interested in a partnership opportunity, please feel free to reach out to me directly. My contact information is here on this slide, Heather Seller. And for more information about Clear Arch Health and our turnkey solutions, visit us at our virtual health booth in the exhibit hall. Thank you, and we hope you enjoy the rest of the conference. We wish you well.